Hello, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices, and today I'm going to show you how to connect one of our Enterprise Series line of sensors to Azure IoT Central. Azure IoT Central is a really nice, quick, easy way to visualize data from IoT connected devices. This demonstration is going to apply to any of the devices in our Enterprise line of wireless sensors, um, but these wireless sensors have a 900 megahertz wireless interface, which means they don't really connect directly to the cloud or to your computer on their own. They need a gateway device or a modem. So in conjunction with the sensors, you can use an IoT Edge computer. The IoT Edge computer runs an application on board called Node-RED. Node-RED is a programming development interface, which you'll see more about later, that allows you to receive the data from the sensors, parse it into real-world data, and then send it off to cloud services such as Azure IoT Central. Now this is the solution that I recommend for most users. It supports multiple sensors, up to 50 per gateway, um, and it's really pretty simple to use. It has Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or cellular connectivity for connecting it to the cloud, and it runs on its own. So you have the sensor, you have this device, and you have Azure. You don't have to have a computer in between. An alternative, however, to the IoT Edge computer would be to connect one of these modems to your computer. We have modems available with Ethernet, USB, Wi-Fi, RS-45, or RS-232 interface. These modems are going to receive the data from the wireless sensors and then send that data to a software application running on your computer or a server. That computer or server will then need to run Node-RED in this application to parse the data from the sensors and then send the data to Node-RED. Or, I'm sorry, to Azure IoT Central. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually um, set up an Azure IoT Central. To do that, you do need to have an Azure account. So you'll need to go to portal.azure.com and sign up for an account if you don't have one already. And then we need to set up an Azure IoT Central application. So from here, we would just search for IoT Central. And you're going to find IoT Central applications right here. So here you would click, here, click the plus button to create, create a new IoT Central application. And then once you create one, it's going to appear in the list here. And you can click on it to view more details on it. So once you've got the Azure IoT Central application created, we're ready to head over to Azure IoT Central. First thing we need to do on IoT Central is create a device template. So over here on the left, we're going to click on Device Templates, and we're going to click on Create a Device Template. A device template basically defines what a device is and what kind of information it's going to report. So we want to select IoT device and then go to customize and we can give it a name. This is a temperature humidity sensor. So we'll name it that. And then we just click create. So now we can uh, build a device model from scratch. Um, but I've taken the liberty of already creating a device model for the temperature humidity sensor. Um, if you're doing this for one of our other sensors, you know, like a vibration sensor or a tank level sensor or something like that, um, you could import this model and then modify it, or you could build one from scratch. So for simplicity's sake, we're just going to say import model, and it's going to ask us to load a file. So over on GitHub, I've created a repository um, where you can download a model.json and a flow.json. The flow is going to be our, for our Node-RED setup, and the model is the device model. So go ahead and, uh, and download that to your computer. And then back here on uh, the, the template, we're going to click on import a model. And we're just going to open up that folder we downloaded and we're going to select model.json and say upload. 
And now we'll see that all the properties and telemetry definitions for that device have been added for us. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna create a device on IoT Central that implements this model. So to do that, over on the left, we're gonna click on Devices, and we're gonna click on Create a Device. And we can give this device a name, you know, whatever we want. Um, just say My Sensor. Uh, and I'm going to leave the device ID as this random ID here. And then I'm going to click create. Oh, uh, before that, we need to select the device template this device implements. And uh, oh, my, my fault, we need, to, um, we need to publish that device template we created already. So uh, here on the device template, we actually need to click on publish up here. And then that's going to actually make it available. So back here on devices, we're going to create a device, give it a name. Now we can select the template, the temperature humidity sensor template that we uh, created. And then uh, we're going to say, no, this is not a simulated device, and we're going to click on create. Okay, so now we've created the template, and we created a device that implements that template. So now we need to set up the node red flow, okay? So in node red, let me go ahead and just delete this flow that's already here. Um, in node red, we need to create the flow that's going to receive data from the device and publish it. <clears throat> so we already downloaded that, file, that folder from GitHub. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, uh, go ahead and implement that now. So we're going to click here on the menu and we're going to say import and we're going to select a file and we're going to select that flow.json file that was in that download and click on upload and then import. And that created a new tab here in Node Red for this flow. Now you may have some errors if you don't have these libraries installed. If you're running this on an IoT Edge computer, it comes with the NCD Red library already installed. If you're running this on, the, on a computer, however, you're gonna need to download that uh, NCD Red library. So to do that, you'd click on the menu over here and click on Manage Palette. Go to Install and search for NCD-Red-Wireless and it will pop up here. You can see I've already got it installed, so it just already it says here that it's installed. The other library that we need is for Azure. So we're gonna search for um, Azure IoT device, and that's going to bring up this library, the node-red-contrib Azure IoT device library. I've already got it installed, but if you don't, go ahead and install that now. And then that's, uh, that's going to make these nodes available, okay? So we need to go ahead and get a transmission from our sensor to get started here. So double click on the wireless gateway node here. And then you need to select the connection for the wireless gateway. If this is on an IoT Edge computer, it's going to be forward slash dev forward slash TTY S1 right here. And you would just select that and click done if you're running on an IoT Edge computer. If you're running on a regular computer and you're using a modem, like a USB modem or an Ethernet modem, then you would need to click on the edit pencil here, select the type of connection, whether it's a USB or TCP, and then you would need to, uh, if it's a USB device, um, you would uh, select your serial port if it's a TCP device and you would enter in the port of your modem and the IP address of your modem. I'm running a USB modem, so I'm going to select USB, click on search, and select the port for my USB modem. And then click on update, and then click on done. And now we need to uh, double click on that and we need to enable it. And uh, one other thing, you want to make sure this add RSSI to incoming packets is checked. Okay. 
<clears throat> we're gonna click on done. Now we're gonna go ahead and deploy this flow. Now we need to get a transmission from our sensor. So to do that, you need to switch your sensor on and then you can just press the reset button in your sensor to force a transmission or after you turn it on, it's gonna send a transmission. And I've got a debug node hooked up to the wireless gateway node here so I can see data coming from the sensor. And I can see that its address ends in 418C3166. So that's really all the information that I needed there. So I can collapse that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come back in here and uh, just go ahead and disable this node again because we don't really need it anymore. Now I'm gonna come into this wireless device node right here. And we need to set that thing up. <clears throat> so we're gonna select the same serial interface that we had for the gateway. Um, which would be this one here. And then we're gonna click on search for MAC addresses and I knew that mine was 418C3166. So I'm gonna select that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and enable it while we're here. And it's automatically coming up that it's a temperature humidity sensor. And we'll click on done. Um, lastly, we need to set up our Azure node. So the Azure node needs a lot of information. It needs the device ID, the plug and play model ID, which is the template we created, the scope ID, which can be accessed uh, from the device, and the SAS key. So to get all that information, we need to go back into IoT Central. We're going to uh, click on the uh, device that we created, and then we're gonna click on connect up here. And we need, uh, we need the device ID, so we're gonna copy that, come back into Node Red and put that in for the device ID here. And then we're gonna need the, um, we're gonna need the scope, right here, the ID scope. So we're gonna copy that and go back into Node Red and put that in for the scope ID here. And then finally, we need the primary key. So we're gonna copy that. <clears throat> and you wanna make sure that this is set for um, uh, shared access signature right here. Uh, so copy that primary key and then we're done here, so we'll close that. We'll come back in here and we'll paste that in right there. And then the last thing we need is the plug and play model ID, the PNP model ID. And that's going to be the ID of the template that we created earlier. So we're gonna go back into our device templates, click on this temperature humidity sensor template. We'll click on edit identity. And then here we're gonna see the interface at ID. So we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna paste that in right there, okay? Hit done, and we'll just go ahead and, oh, we do need to enable this. Done, and then deploy. Okay, and the IoT, ed, or the IoT central device is going to provision itself, and it's gonna output messages about that provisioning process, and it's gonna say it's connected. Now we're ready uh, for a transmission from the sensor to post the data to Azure. So you can um, power cycle your sensor or press the reset button on it or just wait depending on how often it reports. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit the reset button on my sensor. And we'll come back over to Azure. And we're gonna get out of the device template here. We're gonna go back to our devices and uh, we're gonna see the uh, sensor here. It shows that it is connected, and I can see the transmissions coming from the sensor here. So I can see um, the battery life, the humidity, the temperature, all that information is right here. But it's not very nice to look at right now. So we can actually um, give ourselves a sort of a GUI interface. So to do that, we're gonna go back over to device templates. We're gonna click on this uh, device template and we're inside the device template. We're gonna to go to views. We're gonna click on visualizing the device here. <clears throat> and we can uh, drag in uh, different, 
widgets as we see fit. So we can bring in this widget. Um, this is a key performance indicator. Um, actually, you know what, we won't do that. Uh, let's do a last known value. Um, we'll make this a little bit smaller because we use this to display our temperature. We don't need a lot of room. So go to configure and telemetry. We're going to add a capability and we're going to select the temperature. Okay, and update. Now we'll get another one for the humidity. Shrink it down, put it wherever we want it. Configure, capability, humidity. So for properties, and these are this is kind of information about the device that really doesn't change. Uh, I'm just going to put them all in one widget here, so we can do multiple capabilities in the same widget. Um, we'll put the wireless. We'll just say device info. So we can get the uh, the serial number for the uh, sensor. We can get the serial number for the gateway. We can show the firmware version. The sensor type. And the node ID. I think that'll all fit in that widget okay. Okay, and then once we're done with that, we're going to click on save. And we'll go back. And we need to publish that. Now if we go back to our devices and we click on that device, now we're going to see a nice UI for the device. And we can see the temperature, the humidity, the RSSI, the battery life, the transmission count. Um, this information here uh, will update the next time that the, uh, the device checks in. But you can do just about anything that you want as far as the view goes through that template. Um, you know, you can come in here and you can do, you know, line graphs, heat maps, um, all sorts of different stuff is available here. Um, so, you know, edit it to your heart's content. So this is really the simplest way to visualize devices on IoT Central or on Azure. Azure can get as deep as you want it to get, really. Um, there's device provisioning services. There's the IoT device hub. Um, there's a lot of different things. Uh, you know, they've got AI built in there for predictive maintenance. Uh, so you can really go very deep. But this is just kind of meant to be an introduction of here's how you can visualize data from these sensors on Azure. So I hope this video has been informative, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact us, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.